everybody, welcome there. Uh, we're here in Zandvoort. Uh, we're drifting uh, right over here with uh, the Drift King, Paul Vlaslom. And uh, we're going to ask him some questions. Paul, we've got some questions here yeah. from Russia. Tell us uh, who, you, who are you, where, where do you live, what uh, championship did you drive? Uh, well, my name is Paul Vlaslom. I live in the Netherlands in a small city in the southeast uh, called Udo. Yeah. Well, I'm drifting since about 2003. And I was the only uh, yeah, European competitor to uh, fight one of the, the Japanese competitors and beat him in a twin battle, which was quite yeah, astonishing. Uh, the year after 2007, I did the King of Europe Championship and I won it again. Uh, in 2008, I did the uh, International Wrestling Championship, which was mainly in Germany and uh, over the rest of Europe. I won it too. Uh, and furthermore, some uh, yeah, other events like the Dubai Drift Challenge, uh, the European Drift Battle in Poland. So, yeah. You've been all over the world? Yeah, in Australia, Dubai, uh, the United States, uh, Finland, everywhere. Okay. Well, next question. Uh, well, as all of you guys know, it's a BMW wagon. It's not a really common car in drifting. Uh, I converted it because it was the smallest six cylinder engine, the 2.0 uh, liter. I converted it to a 3.2 liter uh, M3 engine. Uh, well, I can show you some minor details. It's got the, the carbon airbox. Uh, a lot of camshafts, special exhaust, and furthermore, it's mainly things to uh, yeah keep the car alive. So uh, a better cooling, a bigger oil cooler, special clutch, a special uh, limited slip differential. I changed the suspension to get more uh, steering lock. It's all uh, well converted also. Uh, wishbones, which are aluminium ones. So yeah, basically everything. Uh, the car is about 1100 kilograms with about 380 horsepower. Okay. Uh, what kind of tires do you use? Uh, well, since the last yeah, one or two years, I'm using mainly federal tires because they last very long, they give good smoke, and they are very grippy from the beginning till the end. So. It's not that, uh, in my opinion, the best tire for drifting because it never delaminates, so you never lose the, the, the cover of the tire. And I'm really happy to, yeah, this year achieved uh, some sponsorship for that. I'm really happy about it. Okay. Um, you've been to, to Russia a couple of times. Did you like it over there? Yeah. Uh, got drunk? Vodka? Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we, we seen some clubs, so we really had a good time. We were there for the Red Square, Red Square uh, Drift Demo. Yeah. Uh, it was very good. I also had the city racing event. Uh, we really had a good time there, and I was also quite astonished by the level of uh, the cars of the Russian drifters. Uh, the cars are very uh, highly uh, yeah, spec, so well built cars. The only thing, in my opinion, they're missing is a bit of practice. So if they should practice more, they're, they're going to be uh, hard. Top content. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yes, how do you do? Um, are you coming to the Drift event in Russia again? Uh, yeah, it depends on if they are going to invite me over. Uh, well, I'm at least going to give it a try because, yeah, I've seen many countries and really like it out there. What do you think of the Russian drifters, dude? Yeah, well, uh, what I already said, the cars are really high spec. Uh, I saw some really good drifts there, and in my opinion, if they get some more practice, I don't know how many more racing circuits in uh, Russia, but uh, for sure they're going to be uh, really good contenders if we're going to meet up again. Okay. Um, I've seen pics from the traces of your tire marks of a Rebel Drift event. Yeah. That must be exhilarating. That wall so close. Yeah. That was also uh, the reason why I got uh, the third position in qualifying. I was riding the, the big wall all the way uh, along. Uh, you can see the marks on the rear bumper of the car and I'm really proud of it. So I'm leaving them on, I'm not going to repair. Uh, it was quite scary because I was doing fourth gear, uh, entry about 160 kilometers an hour. And you had to ride the wall all the, the, the way long, which, yeah. Uh, I, had, I guess my car was one of the lower powered cars, although it has 380 horsepower. Most of the American drivers are at, uh, yeah, at least 5, 6, 700 horsepower. So. It was kind of hard to keep up with them, but I really had a good experience there and I'm sure if it's going to be organized again, then I'm going to be there. 
for sure. Yeah. Um, what did you, do you want to achieve in the future? Well, so far we... Um, my main purpose is to get to the drifting as a sport to a higher level. Uh, I've seen it in uh, Australia, I've seen it in uh, the United States. Uh, over there they are, uh, got the main uh, sponsorships for the series and so on. Nowadays it's a bit hard because the economical climate is a bit down, but uh, that's my main goal to uh, yeah, set up drifting as a professional sport uh, to make it more attractive for spectators and sponsors and so on. Yeah, well that, that was the next question. What about your sponsors? Well, I got some sponsors, uh, as I told you, Federal, uh, Kenneth Smith Training, uh, Van der Akker, which are the main sponsors. But furthermore, for me, it's still, uh, yeah, I mainly pay it myself. Uh, uh, due to the drift game business, I got some yeah, feedback too. So. But uh, I guess within a couple of years, if we all yeah, try to achieve this higher level of drifting, uh, the sponsors will also see that drifting is interesting for them to yeah, sell their products and so on. So I guess it will get better and better. Well, we got the last question now. Yeah. Um, what, what advice would you give for the What kind of car do you use? Uh, well, just start with a. Uh, yeah, a simple rear wheel drive car, that's the main thing what you need. Uh, just weld the differential, uh, put uh, low quality tires in the back and just start drifting and get it on and get it on and get it on. Because that's the main, uh, yeah, the main uh, advantage of drifting also. It's only 10% talent, well you got it or you don't. The 10% technique, you learn it at the drifting course or you can learn it yourself or uh, learn from other drifters. And the other 80% is just practice, 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 practice. And the ball. Well, yeah, that's uh, to get to this higher level, but just try it and try it and try it and you'll, you'll see it'll get better and better. So, yeah, the only thing I can tell you, you need to burn at least 100 tires before you get to this certain level. Okay. Well, Paul, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, we're done right now. Thank you, guys. You got the question. Hope to see you guys soon again in Russia. Ciao.